Zarafa started in 1995. I had come from the States the year before, consulting in the, in the coffee industry. I came from Seattle, which people would know, uh, specialty coffee with Starbucks and the like, it started from. And I came over here and I saw a wide opening in the market. I realized that paper cups and takeaway coffee basically hadn't arrived. So in March 25th of 1995, I incorporated and set out on this journey. I started in Southport and Pinner Drive on the Gold Coast in a small 60 square meter uh, factory, a lot smaller than this, obviously. I had a little roaster at the back and I, I decided to start doing retail out of it. And before I knew it, the Gold Coast Hospital clientele that came down, the doctors and nurses, it got to a point where I knew I needed to move. We then opened up a kiosk on the other side of the mall and then Harbor Town in 1999. They, they both opened at the same time. My wife called me up because she was getting the bills at the home fax machine, $400,000 worth, and she, she basically said, is there another way we can do this crying? And I needed to figure out a different way of growing and managing the business and looked into it and found franchising. I had better people surrounding me and supporting me. I had great franchisees wanting to help me grow the brand that was passionate, if not more passionate than me, about the brand. So it allowed the brand to grow exponentially with less stress to me, my family, and the business. So I'd seen drive throughs in the States, but we did this next level. We had two windows. We sort of looked at it as we want to be up here with the big boys. So we did it. $500,000 fit out did it. And that innovation paid off. Those franchisees now are some of our biggest franchisees in Townsville. It's changed our brand forever. The most common asked question is, what is Zarafas? Is? What is the name? Where does it come from? So I came upon this picture of a giraffe, and next to it, in Arabic, Zarafa. Not giraffe, Zarafa. And I just, I knew it. Zarafa's coffee. My connection with Kenya goes back to about 2012. I ended up getting really a trip of a lifetime because I was sitting at the bar and I asked the bartender, do you happen to know how far the closest coffee has grown? And he, he said, shh, I'm in a co-op. I'll get it together, but don't tell anybody. So we got a car organized. We went to this co-op. And for the last seven years, we bought them out completely. We supported them around building a seedling nursery. They used to do it under their shade cloth, underneath the drawing tables. And I said, you guys don't have anything for the future. Your average grower is 60, 70 years old. There's no young people here. Let's put into the future. So Zarafas has been about meaningful conservation, not buying fair trade. We are fair trade. You know, we, we are doing something behind the scenes. We're not doing the pat on the back and writing the checks out. Anybody can write a check. Go and see what you're putting it into.